I'm Brittany McGraw and this is your 10 News Update. It will be a little longer until the general public can get a Pfizer COVID-19 booster shot. Friday, a Food and Drug Administration Advisory Committee only approved the booster for those 65 and older or at high risk. Officials cited concerns about the safety of the boosters in younger people. Friday was the first day of early voting in the Commonwealth ahead of the November election. This year, the list of acceptable forms of ID has expanded. Some include a driver's license, military ID, or any other current government document that has your name and address. Here's a rundown of important dates. The last day to register to vote is October 12th. The last day to request an absentee ballot is October 22nd. Early voting ends October 30th, and then Election Day is Tuesday, November 2nd. The new Roanoke Youth and Gang Violence Prevention Coordinator is ready to implement new strategies when it comes to tackling ongoing gun violence. Christopher Roberts says the narrative needs to change from public safety to community health. He wants to focus more on mental health and tackle poverty at its root to help prevent gun violence. Robert says this will encourage the community to open up to other agencies and not rely solely on police. A reminder that you can get updates on the go with WSLS.com and the 10 News app. I'm Brittany McGraw, 10 News, working for you.